you know, I'm leaving my repair shop for my equipment and I asked them this question about this thing about the blowers and having to be electric and I listened to the internet and I asked a couple times and it said it starts in 2025 and I'm old and I don't really I'm thinking maybe I'll just be dead before 2025 and I won't have to deal with this nonsense and then the guy says it's starting now and you can get a three thousand dollar fine well you know so I gotta buy a $700 electric gas powered machine. I am sorry, electric machine. And I got gas powered machines that now are trash because the government decides that. Because the people around me have nothing better to, oh my gosh. I can't believe this. So I gotta go out and buy a $700 blower. You know, usually they give you some incentives or they give you some kind of, uh, you might expect that they're going to say, okay, since we're in for forcing this on you, we're going to give you some tax breaks. But then that's just messing up the country more. Someone has to pay this, this whole thing just. I can't believe it. I can't just go to work without the government getting in my business on, on using a stinking gas powered mower, blower. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know, there's a saying, they, they came for this group. I didn't care because they were, I wasn't them. They came for that group. I didn't care. They came for this group. I didn't care. Then after they took out everybody else, they came for me and then I cared. I think it was related to, I want to say religion. They came for these, they came for that, and then they came, whatever, maybe not. But I was always knew they were coming. I always knew they were coming. And I was always trying, and I've been saying since I became aware that they were too much overreach. The government was making too much overreach. So I've already been saying that they, uh, yeah, I've already been saying that uh, things are getting out of hand with the Democrats and the getting into our business. So this isn't new for me, but they're now completely, this is absolutely affecting me. Absolutely affecting me. This is just, uh, you know, I'm not going to do this for that many more years. I'd rather just... But a fine of $3,000, are they insane? Who get, so who gets that money? Who gets that $3,000? The government, so that they can pay for more people to come up with dumb ass ideas like this? Oh my gosh. Yeah, the internet said I was good till 2025. So I wasn't really, I was just not, I was just letting that go on down the road. But then my guys say that they can't even sell gas powered equipment of gas powered blowers now out of the shop. Am I allowed to buy gas? Am I allowed to use the blower in my own yard? And there's actually people walking around like police. Uh, so they tell me, caught turning people in. What kind of animal does that? That's like the animal, I had an old, well, old, what was it, a 70, what is it, 77 Chrysler New Yorker on my front yard, that was my father's freaking car, on my two acres of property, minding its own business, and one of my Democrat neighbors complained that it was too offensive, actually it's a beautiful car, inside it doesn't look great, it doesn't mechanically work now, once the kids came, I had to set it aside. The wipers and the windows didn't go up anymore and the wipers didn't work regularly. So I said, I'll have to let this sit. We got babies coming, babies are here. I'll fix it later, which of course you never do. It just sits there and then it gets worse and worse. But to look at it, it looks beautiful. 
There's no rust. The front, the body looks great. But someone had to complain, and I had to get rid of it and move it. My father's car, because some stinking person in my neighborhood, well, because one person who didn't know how to mind his own business, as that other moron says, couldn't couldn't just mind his own business. And I live near nobody. I've got a neighbor on one side, a neighbor on the other, and none of them can even see me. I know it's not my neighbors. It's some clown driving through the neighborhood. There's a, a field in front of my house on the other side, a horse field. So there's nothing, there's no neighbors I'm bothering. Someone was annoyed watching my car as they drove by my house, sitting in my front yard. That's the same type of person who's gonna be out there looking, going, you're using a blower and ratting you out. So Tim Walls says, being neighborly is ratting your neighbor out? Or minding your own business, Tim, which is it? Make up your mind. That sounds a little like communism where they sit there and they tell, and then the, the Chinese government comes over and pulls you out of your house because your neighbor ratted you out. That sounds a little like in Islamic countries where they claim somebody's a Christian and then they go in and they just kill the whole family. Not everywhere, but it happens. It has happened, look it up. Yep. And finally, that reminds me of that clown. What's his name? His name doesn't even deserve to be mentioned. Uh, Michael Rappaport. This is the same thing I said. They come to eat their own. And I'm not their own. They're eating me because I am. I know I am different from them. I'm not them. Michael Rappaport. Oh, the Black Lives Matter. Oh, no, this. Oh, I'm woke. Blah, blah, blah. All this nonsense. All this radical ideology and then when they turned on the Jews after the October issue the October 7th attack by Muslims on Israel he's up oh my people Israel ah, ah, and they turned on him but all before that for the last four years oh yeah, yeah, yeah. every day he was all about those same people, the same people who he was embracing and cheering and talking for turned on him and said that Israel somehow the enemy. They get attacked, then they respond in kind, which is what you would expect, which is what Hamas expected. They didn't think that they were going to attack Israel and Israel was just going to say, oh, that's okay, and turn the other cheek. They knew. They knew what was coming. They didn't care because they were already prepared to hide in their cubby holes and let the, civil, the civilians take the brunt of it. So Michael Rappaport, how do, you, how do you like him now? How do you like him now? They came and they're eating their own. That's you, you clown. And lastly... Is there any car that doesn't smoke dope anymore? Can I drive anywhere where I have my windows open? Is everybody smoking dope in their cars? Or is it just me? I mean, not just me. Is it just me noticing? There it is. There it is again. How does it come into my car from someone else's car, into my truck? Is it that strong? Do these people with their windows open? Does it, how does that even happen? Okay, so this is my rant for today. They're coming for me now, and they're ruining. They're going to force me to spend about $1,000 for extra batteries so I can work. At... Yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I'm not the one, but I'm telling the rest of you people out there, they came for him, they came for that group, they came for that group, they came for that group. Michael Rappaport, they come for you now too, huh? For your group, huh? Yeah. So there you are.